All right. So this big series of pits leads us to this big room where the ogre was, which means that this series of pits that I'm facing right now will just lead me here. Good to know. So I go back through the teleporter, and that brings me here. I forgot my arrows. They're in the ash pile. Look, I know, but uh, fucking priorities. All right. Ah, oh, oh, okay. It's just earthquake. Not a big deal. But now that I've figured this out. Curious, because there's more dungeon on the other side of these pits. I don't know how to get there. No, I thought I saw a switch. I didn't. I don't see anything that looks like a pressure plate when I look over there. Well, you know what we can do? We can use our lightning bolts as a ranged lighting source. This is an efficient use of mana, boy howdy. Nope, nothing. And these pits cannot be closed because there's no visible doors on them. Strange. Very strange. Hmm. Oh, you know what? There's this door right here. That's where it's going to lead, I bet. Come get me! Still here, dickbag! Seriously, come get me, I'm almost out of arrows. I got a critical hit on him. I think I have enough mana for a lightning bolt. Oh, moot point! Okay, I'm still missing three. There we go. All accounted for. do anything? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Save again. Ha! Huh. Oh yeah, see, here we go. This is exactly where I thought it would take me. And there's nothing here anyway. That's a uh, disappointment. I guess the point of this is to make you see the other area and think about it and realize that it looks exactly like the other room that you were in recently. So then you figure you maybe go back to that room and look around and you just step through the teleporter and it takes you there. It's just weird because they seem like they would be set up in a... Uh, dual formation. There's more elementals on the other side there, so we're gonna... Hold off. Oh, 
Okay. That is a thing that happened. It always startles me. The lag is real. The lag is real. A flail. Well, that's cool. The lag is real, but bear in mind that I'm also only glancing over at the chat once every minute or two, because I'm concentrating somewhat on playing a video game. Oh, motherfucker! He's dead. Wait. It's the most pointless door ever. Let's level up Shandaya real quick, and we'll do it in this room because we have room to dodge if need be. Ah. <sighs> half the time I mention something, do it half a second later. Oh. You don't need to worry about it. It's just the nature of the medium. Um. So, do you guys want to hear a uh, gross, slightly TMI LSN story? Because I'm going to tell one. And it's going to be recorded on the internet forever. Maybe I shouldn't. Fuck it, I'm going to. If anybody doesn't want to hear anything gross you can go ahead and mute the stream now and I'll do one of these when it's okay to unmute all right so starting now okay so yesterday I uh, had a bad time hey Dwarf Furious welcome to the gross out story No, button! I was... Uh, just sitting, you know? Relaxing. Fridays are generally my day to relax. I don't have to do anything much. Except prepare a video for the next day, which I do early on. What it was, it was just a Skyrim video of some guys playing it and dicking around with mods and stuff. Just, I wasn't even watching it that close. I was uh, doing something else at the same time. I don't remember what it was. Um, but they were playing around with ragdoll physics at one point. And I don't remember exactly what they did. I think that they fired an NPC perfectly over the roof of a house. Which was not in itself all that funny. But the guys playing it, their reaction to it, to just burst out laughing, you know, you hear somebody laughing and you start laughing as well, you know, that set me off. And, uh... It was so unexpected, right? Because I wasn't even paying attention. I did that thing that you do, or I do it. I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm weird. 
Where, like, you, you basically just choke on your own spit and you start coughing uncontrollably and you can't breathe properly. And, you know, it's, it's not something that happens to me all the time. But often enough that, you know, I'm used to it. I know that if I just relax, I need to go back and heal. But it's such a pain in the ass to go all the way back. I'm just going to rest. So I knew that, you know, all I have to do is just stay calm for a bit and, you know, it'll go away. It'll get better. That's my uh, higher intelligence at work. But my lower intelligence, you know, the part that lives down in your stomach, says, Oh God, we haven't breathed for a second. Are you alright, dude? Do you need me to throw up? I'm gonna throw up. Which is bad enough, you know, in general circumstances. But I'm sitting at my fucking computer, so if I barf, it's gonna go all over the keyboard and both monitors. And I ain't having that shit. So, like, I threw up in my mouth and swallowed it three times in a row in quick succession before I managed to stop coughing. Uh, and then, basically, my night was over at that point. I'm just like, fuck it. I'm done. And, uh, I cried myself to sleep. The end! Alright, here's the spinny, so that you know that you can unmute, because the story's over and we're never talking about it again. Now, I don't know... ...what to do in this room. We've got these mouths which can shoot things, or sometimes eat things. We have a door here, obviously. But more importantly, we have pits. So we're gonna... Oh, we have to level up first. Do we have anything good in Spellcraft? Extra energy, extra willpower, Staff Defense... Staff Defense doesn't give me anything really good. It's just more defenses that I barely need because he's in the back row. And I'm... I'm very careful about, uh... picking my battles. Usually. Faster spell casting would be cool. Greater lightning bolt sounds awesome though, so we're gonna shoot for that. Next level I'll have greater lightning bolts. Okay, we're gonna save again now that we've leveled up and queue up a spell and jump down this pit. What's here? Who's here? Who's gonna kill me? There is nothing down here. What a fucking waste. It's almost like you're not supposed to throw yourself headlong down the pit of death. Oh, whatever. Oh, I see a skull. It's looking at me. I also see the stairs! Yo, dog, I heard you like stairs, so I turned a skull so it's looking at you so you can enjoy some stairs while you stairs. Ah, uh, ha, yeah, ha. Uh, it's... It's 2010. That's what year it is now. I'm sorry. I get it. We gotta block them all. Playing goalkeep here. Ah, balls! I was doing good. Probably the same pattern every time, so... Oh, you know what spell I wish I had? Which I think is only in Grimrock 2. Is there's a spell that creates a square of force which blocks all movement and attacks and projectiles. If I had that, this would become much easier. Oh, 
Come on. Oh, okay. What do we got here? Chitin boots or chitin boots? I don't know how to pronounce that word. Enchant fire arrow. Oh, so I can make fire arrows. Is that right? But I need fire magic seven, and I only have like... Yeah, I only have three points. So I could learn to do that, but I probably won't. But I'll keep it anyway because it's a scroll. So that was... Oh. Oh, right, because of the boots. Uh, well, we'll take off them lurker boots. And he's still too heavy. Ah. Now she's too heavy. Ah. And we're good. We've got most of a lurker set here. What's missing? I think like the lurker hood or something? Are there lurker gloves? Do those exist? But, uh, I don't know. I don't know if the lurker set is going to be better than the plus four protection we have here. Whatever, we'll just hold on to it for now. Maybe we'll have find another safe room we can stash it in later. Uh, so this level is mostly complete. There's a few areas we haven't seen in this maze because they're inaccessible. And there's the fighter challenge, which we still haven't done. Did that do anything? Doesn't seem like it. I still don't think we're high enough level to d defeat the fighter's challenge. Fighter's Challenge is hard as fuck. And immediately, right off the bat here... Scroll of Shock Shield. Okay. Air Magic 22, which we have. Oh, cool. So we all have Resist Shock. I wonder how long that lasts. Button. You thought I didn't see it, didn't you? Cockroach Joe didn't get any XP for that. Blueberry pie! I know exactly where that needs to go. Right in there with the treasures. Which, we may have missed one. I think there's one in the Fighters Challenge, which we didn't get yet, obviously. Vault of the Dismantler. Wait a minute. Dismantler. So this appears to be giving me some instructions. Which don't appear to apply to my current situation, which is weird. Keep an eye out for it though. Got a locked door here, that's interesting. More stairs already. Strange. 